Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video using my favorite products. Okay, so to start off with my face, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Quick Fix Prep Priming Spray. And I will just mist that all over my face. Um, just kind of fan it in a little bit and then for primer I'm going to be using this Nivea men's sensitive post shave balm and the reason why I like to use this is because it's really sticky and it's really moisturizing so um, with a stickier primer you're gonna have long-lasting coverage with your foundation and my brows are already filled because I started filming this thinking that my camera was on but I have my memory card wasn't in there so yeah but to do my brows I did use this Anastasia dip brow pomade in the color dark brown and I went ahead and just lined it and brushed it out and I'm going to clean those brows with this uh, NYX eyeshadow base and because I like to have like cleaner lines on my brows, it's just preference. I'm gonna go in with this, just this flat brush here and just clean up the bottom and top. Okay. Now that those are all cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation so I can never really find the right color for to match my skin tone so usually I'm mixing it a lot of the times so I have this um, Milani two-in-one concealer and it's in the color sand which is a little bit too dark for me I usually use sand beige 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 but I'm all out of that um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with this Age Rewind Concealer. It's actually just for the under eyes, but it has like more of a yellowy tone. And this foundation has like a pinkish tone. So once you mix the two together, it usually will balance each other out. So just put some streaks all over like that. And then this does have a pump on it, but I usually don't use it I usually just well I do when it's full but it's kind of going out so I'm just gonna take the wand out and I'm just gonna put some on my face and I just like to start off with a little bit and then work my way up if I need to. I'm going to go in with my damp um, blender by Neeks, Real Techniques blender. And it is damp. So I'm going to go ahead and push that all in. I normally I don't wipe, but with the concealer underneath, it's thicker and you kind of need to wipe it, so. And I do put it on my eyelids because I basically use it as a base for my eyeshadow. Mommy. So I have all my foundation in and I'm going to use this same concealer that I just used um, to go ahead and uh, go underneath my under eye here. And I have another beauty blender, or it's not a beauty blender, but I'll, another sponge. I honestly don't know the brand of this. I bought it at Walgreens and I really like it. It's a lot, it's a lot even, it's even softer than the Real Techniques one, but it's also really thick, which is good too. Said I do put it on my eyelids too, because 
I basically use it as a base for my eyeshadow too. Okay. I do want to set this um, before I move on to shadows and everything else. I want to set this under my eyes so that um, it's not all wrinkly later. Okay, so I have this uh, e.l.f. setting powder. I have it right here. And I'm going to use that same blender that I was using to uh, blend out my concealer. I'm going to go ahead and dip that in there. Get a good little mount on there. And then you just want to press it in under your eye. I'm going to do all of the areas that I did concealer. And I'm also going to do right here. So I usually will let this sit and bake for a few minutes. Um, and I'm just going to start on my eyeshadow while this kind of sets in. Artiste Pro Palette. And set my, because I do have the concealer on my eyelids, like I said, to use as a base. This, just this lighter bone color shade right there. And I don't like to bake too long because I feel like the longer I let it set, the wider and drier it gets. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust all of this off. I've been really liking this uh, e.l.f. blending brush that I got. e.l.f. Wet and Wild. My bad. And it's upside down. More neutral tone that another color can blend in with easily. So I'm going to start in with this one. It's uh, called Innocent. And I'm just going to start that in my crease here. I'm going to go in with this color right here. Just a little bit of it. It's called Edgy. I'm not going to put too much on my brush because it is kind of a darker color. Now that's all in. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's called Trendy. I'm gonna use that on my lid, but um, it's a really pigmented color, so. Um, but I just want that little extra, little extra, extra, because I wanna be extra every day, all day. So I am gonna go back in with this NYX eyeshadow base and put that, just kinda like line my area right here. Now I got that on, that's going to be nice and sticky for this eyeshadow to go on. Okay, take some of this. It's so pretty. It's like green. It, it, it reminds me of mermaids because it's like green, but it has like a hint of purple in it. Oh. Well, my sister says it's blue, but I think it's green, so whatever. It looks great. And you never have to worry really about it being perfect because you're just going to go back and blend it all together. Good amount on there, I think. I'm going to go in with another blending brush. Um, this is my Morphe M441. Just kind of rub it on my hand, make sure there's no other shadow on there that's going to mix in with this. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of blend. You want to blend what you just put on with your crease. And same thing, the windshield wiper motion. You are blending for days because that is my biggest pet peeve or something that just I can't stand when I look up makeup is when this is not blended with this. 
Besides when you do a cut crease, which is a whole nother story, but yeah, your eyeshadow needs to be blended, girl. Even if you need to take some extra time. Okay, so for a liner, I'm gonna be using this Kat Von D. Not focusing, but it's the Kat Von D ink liner, and the color is Trooper. So, just gonna line these eyes here. So I always, 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 always try to get thin eyeliner and I always end up with thick liner. I just like mess up and then I just keep getting, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. One day, one day I'll master the thin eyeliner. That on this side, not too bad on this side. Clean that up right there. So let's just... Okay, now I'm gonna put some mascara on. Little one because the big ones are expensive and this was only $12, so it's about to run out. But well, I'm gonna go in with another like little flat brush here from Wet n Wild and underneath, right on my waterline, I'm gonna use this uh, color right here, Smoked. You're just gonna blend it out anyway. Okay, now I got my lower lash smoked out. Do my blush. LA Colors Toast. My only brush, I mean blush, at the moment. I'm so bad, I never buy blush. I just, I don't like blush, to be honest, that much. Because most of the time I'm trying to hide the redness on my face. Or I just haven't found a good one, I guess that I really just am in love with. Okay, and to contour, I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Master Contour palette and go in with this shade right here using my little angled brush from Wet n Wild. Just line right underneath your cheekbone, right in that hollow part of your cheek. Now is when I'm going to spray to set all of this in. I have this uh, Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray, and it is a skin mist, finishing mist. And I'm just gonna spray that. I also like to use my Mario spray. Uh, it's basically all gone, but. And while my face is wet, this is when you want to do your highlighting. I'm going to go in with my highlighting brush and I'm going to use the same contour palette that I just used for my bronzer. I'm going to go in with the highlighter that's in here. Another thing you can do is just wet your brush. You see that? You want to put it right above your eyebrows. I like to do just a little bit down the middle of the nose. Cupid's bow. I am. I am going to set my lashes on. Okay, so now that the glue has gotten nice and tacky, um, I'm gonna go set these on. Okay, 
Okay, got the lashes on. And I did put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Um, and just to add a little bit more color, a little more pop of color, I do have this Sephora um, eyeliner. And it is the Jumbo Liner 12 Hour Wear Waterproof Turquoise. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my waterline here. Now, if some of that color gets into your bottom lashes, I just put another coat of mascara over it. Okay, so I'm not gonna go chew, chew too dramatic with the lips today, um, just because I have a lot of color on my eyes. I'm going to go in the, with this Milani lip pencil in the color Spice and just line the lips. And for color, I'm gonna go in with this LA Colors in the color In Love. It is a matte. And then to put on top of that, I have my Sephora Cream Lip Stain, number 23. And we are done. Okay, so thanks for getting ready with me today. I will leave a list of all the products that I use today down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.